pulling out all of them? Oh. Holy shit. Now I thought that guy was big. I cannot believe this. Holy shit. We're just guiding her to her death. This is so crazy. There's Earth! This is so cool. Oh my god. So, I'm gonna let the credits run and talk a little bit about the game. Uh, you know, it started out kind of slow and kind of, well, not really slow, but just hard. Mostly because I never played a game like this before. What? Unbelievable. We managed to stop this abomination, and it's still going to destroy the world. John! So the credits aren't done? together John we're both one of a kind now those are the eyes I've been waiting to see
okay. It's getting ridiculous. How do you keep surviving all this? I bet you're trying to sneak up on me right now. Aren't you? Bayonetta. Now you have to fight Enzo. <laughs> There's all these boss fights over and over and over. <laughs> Two days later. Well, no Enzo! But at least she's at peace. Back in the box she came from. And I guess I'm gonna have to find a new racket to line my pockets. No bonus for old Enzo this time. <laughs> Sparkling usual. You know how it works with witches, Enzo. They make a deal with the devil. And when they die, the devil gets his due. You get set down into hell and wandering around scared shitless for eternity. Kinda comfy territory. Why are you telling me this? Is this not why we are standing here? Praying for her soul to rest <laughs> in peace? I better not be out here catching a fucking cold if these prayers don't mean nothing. It's nice to think your prayers are worth a damn remnant. You made a killing exposure. She might get lonely and come back to haunt your ass. <coughs> haunt me? Hell can keep her then. I said I'd never give up chasing. I just never thought the chase would end like this. Oh, come on. How did she die? Rosemary. You said it was a demon repellent. It might help you on the road ahead. Hey. Hey. Hey, wait a second. What the hell are they coming down here to get her for? Of course they've come to the prize they've been seeking all along. Holy shit! You're... What? me into this filthy old casket. The next time some air holes would be nice. You are worth this idea. Save the chit chat for later. We've got work to do.
Extra Vagina. It has a bit of rosemary. In the language of flowers, rosemary equates to remembrance. Suits me now, doesn't it? Let's dance, boy! Okay, now these are the credits. Oh. So, like I was saying earlier, I uh, have not really played a game like this before, so it makes the, uh, it makes sort of the entrance into these types of games really difficult. Um, like I said, I, I, I started this game out thinking it was really hard and that I want, oh shit, that I wanted to keep playing, but, uh, Why is it making me do this? Um, yeah, so the game was really awesome. A little bit of a learning curve. Uh, I, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I'm actually playing on the Wii U. So, uh, I was really happy that Bane of the two actually came with the first one because like I said I've never played it before and I don't have a 360 or PS3 to play the old ones on so I'd have to actually buy a whole new system um, and so there's just something about this game where it's hard but it like makes you want to it, it makes you want to play and, and actually get better at it and get better scores on the levels like there's no way I could have done any of this stuff before uh, with just shit with with my limited knowledge of the game and so obviously the more you play the game the better you'll get but like it just keeps ramping up and up and up and up like there was a point where I think there was like three or four bosses like game ending bosses in other games that were just regular chapter bosses like I don't know how many times I just had to stop playing just because I was so drained uh, this, this game it, it just requires like all your attention like no matter what happens um. Like, this shit is crazy. It's in the credits that we're doing this awesome stuff. <laughs> and, okay, so, uh, a lot of people don't like this game because of the sexuality, but honestly, after, like, the first chapter, you don't even think about it anymore, just because the same's so fucking good. Oh, sweet, I got pure platinum on the last one. <laughs> Just the art style and and how how everything really flows together. That like the 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 combat is incredible. Like you go from just regular regular like shooting your guns, a, a couple like wicked weaves here and there, to like uppercutting people, like doing suplexes, and to um, a a finishing move, to dodging. To, to going into your your panther state to <laughs> to jumping into another enemy with your panther and then like going nuts on him again like I can't explain much more about this game than I already have just because I, I can't I can't put it into words now I played it on normal and there were some times like in later in the game actually yeah like middle to later in the game 
where I literally died probably 10, 15 times to just some random guys just because they were the same type of enemy but just way harder. Way harder. And I, I, I knew what I had to do but it was just because their their um their rhythm changed and they were faster and they countered more it just made it way way difficult uh there there were a couple things that i i didn't like about this game is that there was uh, aside from the bosses and e even some of these are are what i'm about to talk about um they were very they, they were very limited and uh, not very there, there there weren't very many enemies at all in the game there's probably 10 or 15 different types uh, but like I said there was there was the same type of enemies but there was they just got progressively harder and faster and just more of them so yeah that's pretty much the only thing I can think of and I can't fault the game for being difficult because it forces you to get better at it or else you're not going to be able to beat it. Some games you can just kind of press buttons and and get through the game without a problem. Like most recent games. Uh, shit, that looks awesome. The Peach costume? Yeah, there, there, there are some games that, that you just... Uh, you just mash buttons and you can sort of get away with being lazy or just going through the motions. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> that is so cool! Alright, so I'm gonna actually play the uh, the alternate costumes here uh, after everything is over. Uh, just so, I first of all, I haven't seen any of these except for the, the couple... Um, like the reviews and stuff, but I have never actually played with the costumes. You can play as Jean too? Huh. <laughs> the Link one is awesome. The Link one is really cool. I think I like the Peach the most. But yeah, I, I can't fault the game for being difficult because it forces you to get better. And by the end of the game, I was doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, yeah. The game's good, and I'm going to be playing the second one. That was Bayonetta, folks. That was Bayonetta. Oh, come on. A stone award till the very end? Ugh. <laughs> Look at all of those. Fuck. Oh my god. Some of the bosses were absolutely insane. Like the two-headed dragon, baby-faced monster, then the 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 dragons themselves. Oh, the boats were kind of cool. Uh, they were very frustrating, but they were cool. Um, the the really big guys. They're like big hulking guys with axes. They were really cool. Though, I mean, those are like mid bosses. I like the uh, that that you see the hand up there. I really like that. I really like that boss, but it was kind of I don't know. That that boss was kind of difficult. Was it cuz you didn't know what it was turning into next? Sweet. Oh shit, hard difficulty. Oh. And guns. 
Regular handguns, I guess. Save data, yes. I'm gonna save over this. Actually, no. I'm gonna go to the very end. I like I like saving like this because it allows you to go back and retry stuff if you really want to. Another thing, the soundtrack is fucking amazing. <laughs> She's dancing. <laughs> Just the whole atmosphere of this game is so good. I can't, I can't like I said, I can't really explain it to you other than... <laughs> like, just look what we're watching here. This is the game of Bayonetta. Just like jazzy funk music in the back. Witches dancing on the side of a wall. Oh, this is good. I, I'm i really kind of confused on the story, though. Because... Okay, so Bayonetta is the... Well, one of the two eyes of the world. Um... And her dad is Balder. Yeah, there was a baby Bayonetta and a real Bayonetta in the same timeline. I'm not really, like, is she her own mom or, or what? Uh, I like, I like Rodin. He's pretty cool. He's, he's kind of like cut and dry, but, but almost stereotypical of like, this this bald like badass dude that that sells you stuff in in hell um and then you have oh there was baby Cereza. and then you have luca who's this uh who's this writer <laughs> i think she's dancing in the background isn't she Oh my god. She is dancing, that's so cool. Then you got Cereza who is who is trying to kill Bayonetta until she found out like how she actually is. And then you have Enzo, like this this fat like this fat New Yorker who is just trying to make money, but he always gets put in these really horrible situations. And he always, his, everything he buys gets destroyed. Like that really sick car that he had at the beginning. And what, what's even worse for him is that he can't see anything that's going on. So it's just, it's even, it's way, way worse for him. Like at least everybody else, I, I guess except Luca, until he got the glasses, can see. But it must be really confusing for Enzo. How long is this? Oh, the, the fact that her hair is her weapon is the coolest concept ever. And her clothes. Her, her clothes are her hair. Come on. That is fucking cool. Alright. So that's Bayonet, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, all five of you who have watched the video so far. Thank you. I had a lot of fun playing. I hope you go out and buy this game because it is worth it.